Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be replacing the center console on my E46 M3. Now, this is an SMG, but the process is pretty much the same. Now, when it comes to the trim pieces around the uh, shift knob, the SMG unit, let me show you what I mean. So this piece right here on the SMG, this is you know trim piece plastic on the manual. It is a boot. Uh, we're gonna be replacing this. Now, we're gonna do a manual swap down the road, but for now, I wanna replace it because it's scratched up. Uh, new trim piece here for the window switches it's scratched up here and then the center console i don't think you can see it too well but it is uh scuffed up up in this area it needs to be replaced new cup holders new coin uh, holder as well we got you can see how bad that's peeling so let's get to the install here's all the pieces we're going to be replacing of course we have our center console here our cup holders our new coin holder our trim piece for the window switches our new SMG trim, and then this uh, piece with the door panel, the cigarette lighter, it comes all one unit. I'll have a link for all these in the description below if you guys are interested in replacing yours. Now with the lighting, you can probably see the scuff's a little bit better, especially here on the side. This is from the seatbelt buckle there. As far as tools, it's got a couple pry tools and my uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Now these are really hard to get out, so I uh, make sure it's in neutral first, and then I was able to pull it with both hands. I was able to pull it out, so it's loose now, so now I can just pull it right out. So they just do pull out. Just make sure it's in neutral uh, when you're doing it. Now with this off, we can pop this out here, and then there's screws underneath to get the center console out. So I got my plastic pry tool here. You can use a flathead, wrap a towel around it if you don't have a pry kit. And then this pulls right out. And then you'll see here, there's a screw here and a screw here. Those gotta come out. Pull all this out while we're at it. Now with those two screws out, I'm gonna remove this um, SMG trim piece. There's two connectors. Well, there's one connector, but it's a two-step process to remove this. So this has a button. Where is it at? It's on the side here. So you're gonna squeeze and pull this out first. And then we have to take this out. And with that, there's two flanges like this on each side. You just squeeze them. Put it in my lap here. Squeeze them together and then push down. And it's gonna come out the other side like this. Here we go. Put that aside. Now with that all out, we can gently pull this off and you wanna be careful because your window stitches are connected. And with them, you just pinch the, the two tabs. So the right side switch is a little different than the left side. So you just wanna push here down the bottom, just two tabs and slide it out. Now the left side, you'll see it's a little bit different, the plug, but same concept here. Just squeeze this and pull it out. And then you're loose. Now for the window switches to pop them out, there's those little, there's these little tabs right here. You just push them forward or backwards, sorry. And then you pull it right out. Same thing on this side, two tabs, push them in and then <laughs> it comes right out. All right, I'm gonna take the boot from the emergency brake up. And then there's two more screws back here. When you open this up, push it down a little bit more and then the ashtray will pop out. And then there's two screws down in there that need to come out. Now with those two screws out, you can pull this. So don't pull too hard because you have your, your um, connector for the illuminated lighting for the ashtray in there and we're going to pull that off as well it's a little tab it comes right out and then there's two more screws underneath that that need to come out all right so next you're going to move your seat up you're going to get in the back seat and make sure this armrest is down and then you can pop this off 
that ends out. Let me get back in the front. So before you start ripping this out, you want to lift up on this end and you want to push this uh, hazard and your door lock uh, switch out. So you just lift it up and push up and then this will come out. I'm going to disconnect this here. It just pulls right out. And now you should be able to pull it out. Here she is. Now you can see all the scratches that I was talking about. Next, I'm going to take out this piece here and replace that. And it looks like it's just two screws on each side. All right, now with this side loose, we're going to have to do the other side as well. go and then it all comes out all right so with that out there's two screws there's one up here and there's one on the other side now with those screws out in order to get this through there we're gonna have to unplug everything from back here now with this one here you just push down in the middle there's a little tab there push down and then you can slide that over and then that comes out she should be free other than unplugging the cigarette lighter and also these here and you want to lift up from the bottom and then you can see everything else that you need to unplug uh, if you have your um your buttons here you're going to want to unplug them as well now with this out i can show you better unplug the cigarette lighters and then there's one uh, connector right there that you take out and this is it right here you just push it on both sides and it pulls right out the cigarette lighter or these two or these two wires here and this is for the um i believe this is just for the illumination now that i have the unit turned around we can unscrew this as well and pull it out and these screws are t10s they're not uh, regular screws so you get your t10 bit and get them on out with those out this just lifts right out the last thing we need to do is pop this out and put it into the new one now to get the cigarette lighter out either you can go get a new one or you could try getting this one out which is not that hard you'll need two screwdrivers two flatheads i got that little one and then one of these here the smaller one you're going to put on this side because there's two um, tabs there's one here and there's one on this side so this one here i just push down in there Let's see if i can hold it and then this one here i put it behind it and then pressing down at the same time pulling those tabs out use another finger to push this down as you're doing it so i've already loosened it up and then you can just go ahead and pop it in this one here okay now with the cigarette lighter back in we're going to put everything back the climate control we're going to put it back in we're going to put this piece back in first this one all right so with that back in now we're going to put in our new center console let's start feeding it through here First, the armrest, make sure that's up so we can slide this in first. And then we're gonna get the emergency brake through. So to fit it in as easy as possible, I have this up, but I have the lip touching the very top just so I can get the emergency brake in too. And then we can slide it in. Feed your boot through it and then snap it back into place on both ends. I'm good to go there. This ends down. Screws are all lined up. Perfect. Actually, we gotta lift this back up. We gotta put that switch back in. I think I gotta order a new armrest too. It's all chewed up. Anyhow, when before you screw this in, make sure you feed your wire back through, and then you can go ahead and put those screws back in. All right. So next, we're gonna put this piece back in. Make sure. Don't mix them up. Remember the. When we took them out, 
this um, connector was different. That was on this side. side and put them back in it just slides in like that and then push it in place Right, and now we need the SMG plate. We need to put this back in. And then just, this snaps into place. Um, you need the boot? I need the boot. So, this is off the old uh, trim piece. You just take the boot off and it snaps into this one here. Push this down. Go. Push that in. And the shifter, shift knob. That's it. And that's it. So much cleaner. Again, I'll put all the uh, links to these if you guys are interested in purchasing them up. I'll put the links in the description. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next video.